I'm here with Jerry Schemmel. He's about to embark on a bicycle race across America. Uh, Jerry, what day does that start? It starts on Tuesday, June 15th. Great. I understand there's going to be a film crew following you, documenting your race. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, I can't believe anybody would think we're important enough to do a film, but yeah, I guess we're, I guess we're having a film crew come along. But you know, Ram is Race Across America is such a, an epic event that I, I think any time anybody attempts it, I'm not trying to brag about my competing in it, but any time anybody attempts that, I think it's newsworthy. I mean, there are only, I think there are fewer people that have completed this race solo than have climbed Mount Everest. So yeah, it's quite an endeavor. So we're looking forward to having that film crew with us. So, Jerry, is your bike solar or powered by gasoline or kerosene? Uh, you know, I was telling somebody the other day, I wish I had an electric bike. That's yeah. the new thing right now is these electric bikes. But, no, it's powered by Jerry's legs. That's about it. And, uh, you know, a lot of drink and a lot of, a lot of uh, calories. So, no, I wish I had some extra power on this thing. Well, Jerry, it sounds like a grueling race across America. What's driving you? Do you have a, a goal or a, a charitable organization you're riding for? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And it's really kind of driving force behind what we're doing. But, yeah, we're trying to raise money. We're, we are raising money for the Kyle Peds Foundation. And Kyle uh, and his brother Brent are an incredible story in themselves. Uh, Kyle is completely disabled, and his brother Brent takes him through triathlons, and they completed the Ironman World Championship a couple years ago, and I think they beat Adam like 100 people in this race. Yeah. Uh, he's you know pulling his brother in a raft and pushing him in the, in the wheelchair, and, and it's just an incredible feat. So they start a foundation called the Kyle Peace Foundation that raises money to help support athletes with disabilities. So they help them with prosthetics if somebody's missing a limb, special equipment to race in, fees for entries and those sorts of things. It's just an, an incredible effort they do for athletes with disabilities. Get them out of the wheelchair, get them off the couch, and get them doing something outside. Okay, Jerry, tell me about the film crew. How did you and Ashley Fordnall get together uh, to collaborate on this project? Yeah, I've got a good friend who's a Christian filmmaker from a same little hometown in South Dakota, 6,000 people, uh, believe it or not. By the way, there's another person in Ram that's from my hometown that's doing this thing. So we're, we're kind of famous back there. But anyway, a mutual friend who's a filmmaker who knows Ashley, our mutual friend uh, who's the filmmaker, and just got us together. And, and Ashley was interested in doing this. So she's going to embed with us, and uh, I think have a great time, and hopefully a nice little film will come out of it. Aside from vaulting you, Jerry, into major motion pictures, what do you hope comes from the film from Ashes We Rise? You know, I, I think Ashley and I talked about this. My hope is that I might inspire somebody. You know, everybody has something, Adam, that they've always wanted to do and they've probably never done. And maybe this will help somebody to, to kind of uh, scratch that off their list or realize that dream or, if nothing else, just get out of the chair and go do something. And yeah, that might not be. What you wanted, you've always wanted to do is ride your bike across America, but it might be, you know, to lose some weight or run a 5K or adopt a child, whatever it might be. I just hope we can inspire somebody to, no matter who they are, what position they're in, how old they might be. I'm 61 years old. No matter how old you are, you still can achieve dreams. So hopefully I finish this race and that film comes out and has that kind of message. Jerry, tell me about what events led up to you committing to this race across America? You know, I've thought about this thing, Adam, forever. I mean, I, I, I thought about Ram for probably 10 years, 10 or 12 years, and then I, I was never totally convinced that I could do it. I mean, this is a really hard race. You, you sleep three or four hours a day, and you're in the saddle, you know, 20 hours a day to be able to finish, and I thought, I don't know if I could do that. So I decided in 2015, so six years ago, to, to do the race as part of a relay team. And I did it as a two-person relay team, and I got done with that, and that was really hard. I only did half the miles, and it was still really difficult. And I convinced myself for a couple of years that I, I just wasn't mentally or physically capable of doing this. And then that started eroding a little bit. And I thought, you know, other people have done it. Older people like me have done it. Uh, why not give it a shot? So I decided this. It'd be easier to do it than to not do it in my head. If I didn't do it, it would be a regret for the rest of my life, and some pulled the trigger on it. 